Good day students. This video on differentiation part 4 is brought to you by mastermax.com. To learn more concepts and understand better, visit our blog. The blog address is given here. In this video, we will learn what are explicit and implicit functions. First, explicit function. It is a function in which the dependent variable y can be returned explicitly in terms of the independent variable x. That is, you can express y in terms of x. Your question can be written as a format y is equal to in terms of x. For example, y is equal to 2x plus 3, y is equal to e power 3x and so on. Next, we will move on to implicit functions. A function in which the dependent variable y can't be isolated on one side of the equation is called an implicit function. That is, you cannot separate x and y. They are interdependent. Your question cannot be written as a format y is equal to in terms of x. You cannot bring y terms to one side and x terms to other side. For example, x square plus 2hxy plus y square equal to 0. Second example, x cube plus y cube is equal to 3axy. Hope you are clear. For now, just understand this. In case of explicit functions, you can separate y terms to one side of the equation and x terms to the other side of the equation. Whereas in case of implicit functions, x and y will be interdependent, so you cannot separate. Your question cannot be written as a format y is equal to in terms of x. Let us see some sums based on implicit functions. First one, find dy by dx if ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. This is a second degree quadratic equation. So, to find dy by dx, differentiate each term with respect to x. First term, ax square. On differentiating this, a is a constant, keep it as such. You will get 2ax plus second term, 2hxy. 2h is a constant, keep it as such. And on differentiating xy, you will involve a product rule, uv dash plus vu dash. Next term, by square. b is a constant, keep it as such. And on differentiating y square, you will get 2y into dy by dx because you are differentiating with respect to x. Next term, on differentiating 2gx, you will get 2g. Next term, 2fy. On differentiating 2fy, you will get 2f into 1 into dy by dx. Last term, c. It is a constant, so on differentiating, you will get 0. Next, on simplifying, you get 2ax plus 2hx into dy by dx plus 2hy plus 2by into dy by dx plus 2g plus 2f into dy by dx is equal to 0. Take dy by dx common from the terms which has dy by dx and the terms which does not have dy by dx bring it to the right hand side. So you get dy by dx into 2hx plus 2by plus 2f which is equal to minus of 2ax plus 2hy plus 2g. On simplifying you will get dy by dx is equal to minus of ax plus hy plus g the whole divided by hx plus by plus f. Hope you are clear. Second sum sin squared y plus cos of xy is equal to k. In the sum also, to find dy by dx, differentiate each term with respect to x. In both the terms on differentiating, you have to apply chain rule. Remember that. First term, sin squared y. On differentiating it with respect to x, you get 2 sin y cos y into dy by dx. Second term, cos of xy. On differentiating, you will get minus sin xy into the product rule of xy x into dy by dx plus y into 1 is equal to 0. Next, take dy by dx common and bring the remaining terms to the right hand side. You get dy by dx into 2 sin xy cos y minus x sin xy is equal to y sin xy. So, dy by dx is equal to on simplifying you get y into sin of xy the whole divided by sin 2y minus x into sin of xy. Hope you are clear. If you have any doubts based on implicit and explicit functions, ask questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. To understand and learn more concepts, visit our blog. Subscribe our channel to get more videos. Share your views on the comment section below. Thank you.